Hi everyone, welcome to our Marine Knowledge channel. This is your Sailor Basha. So, it's been a long gap uh, since I uploaded some video because of some internet issues on board. Uh, so, now uh, in this video, I would like to show something about uh, centrifugal pumps like uh, what are all the clearances that we need to check while overhauling a centrifugal pump. That is what I would like to show in this uh, video. And uh, uh, basically, for a clearance limit and all, all you need to do is you have to check with the maker's recommendation usually one mm or uh, some data they will be providing when you see the manual for a centrifugal pump so uh, i would like to show something maybe important while uh, we have to while we are overhauling a centrifugal pump without uh, without taking all this clearance you cannot box up uh, centrifugal pump so that uh, uh, if you take the clearances you will avoid a unusual vibration all those things okay let's go into the video so now first what you need to measure is you have to measure the outer side of the casing it is a casing impeller this is how you have to make the outer side outside diameter of the impeller and once you take the diameter just measure with the scale and write it in a paper just record it record that data in the paper so first uh, take the clearance of the outside diameter of impeller so casing outer dia that means impeller right outer dia and then you have to measure the inner dia where the pump sits where the impeller sits so use an inside uh, gauge so that uh, this caliper can be adjusted easily so take with the help of inside caliper and measure the inside diameter of the casing so after you measure the inside diameter of the casing you have to minus the reading from outside diameter so this is the inside diameter so you again write it in a paper which is called the inside diameter of the casing so just minus both of them so that will be the clearance between the pump and the wearing and next you need to have the clearance between the shaft so this is the shaft groove again with the help of uh, inner gauge take the clearance between the sh you can see it's a casing where shaft sits so if this uh, bush got worn out then it will give a lot of vibration when the pump is running and that is the main reason why we need to take the clearance of this so that's the inner dia so again i am going to note it down that is shaft sleeve inner dia that is 48 mm and i take the measurement of the pump shaft so once you take this two and measure it and minus the value from outside to inner whichever you get that is the clearance for the shaft sleeve on the shaft so these two clearance are very very important when you are uh, overhauling a centrifugal pump the reason is if the clearance is more between the impeller and uh, the wearing then the pressure won't increase because the water will get bypassed so your efficiency of the pump will drop and if the clearance between the sleeve and shaft is gone is more then you get a lot of vibration when the pump is running so after watching this video you must have got some idea about how to uh, take clearances for a centrifugal pump what are all the clearance that we need to take how much will be the how you need to take the measurement everything 
so i believe this video must be useful if you have any doubt you can definitely put in comment box or you can whatsapp me thank you all thanks for supporting